Hi guys, welcome to Mexico. My name is Anove and today I'm in Palenque and this is a pyramid. Let's go! The price for one ticket and one bracelet is 180 pesos and in dollars it will be around 11 American dollars. The first place that we met is the Temple of the Skull. The name of this temple is due to a relief fragment located in the base of a pilaster at the axis. The relief represents a skull, probably of a rabbit. It was originally painted in red and blue. A grave with a rich offering was found under the temple. The second place is the Temple of the Red Queen, the funerary chamber of a feminine burial coated with red cinnabar and a treasure with many pieces was founded during the excavations. It was called Red Queen since it possessed all the attributes contained in a royal grave and because of the red color of a mineral that covered her remains. Later studies allowed to postulate that the buried character in the sarcophagus corresponded to the spouse of Bacal the Great. This pyramid is located the mausoleum of the archaeologist Alberto Rusluelje. The remains of the archaeologist Alberto Rusluelje lie here. He conducted diverse archaeological works in this zone. He discovered the grave of a ruler Kinejjana Pakal. The next place here is the temple of inscriptions and the Pakal's grave. Three limestone boards with hieroglyphic inscriptions give its name to this temple. Through its interior you arrive to an impressive funerary crypt ornamented with underreliefs. where are the sarcophagus of the Lord of the Solar Shield Pakal is located. He ruled Palenque between years 615 and 683 AD. The tombstone underreliefs express the name, origin and ancestry of the character. Likewise, a great central scene recreates his death. The next place is the palace. The set of structures that comprises the palace is distributed around inner courtyards, forming a complex group of buildings, open spaces, corridors, underground galleries, drainage ducts and a tower that must have been used as an observatory. The buildings usually have two passageways interconnected by doors and windows, mostly shaped as trilobulated arches. This great structure is the end result of any number of architectural changes made over a period of more than 400 years.
The next place is the Temple of the Sun. Inside it, there is a board with central motif is a war symbol, made up by a shield crossed by two spears with flint leaves that are supported in a type of throne in the form of a bicephalic serpent and sustained in the shoulders by two elder deities. In this board, Kinich Kanbala II is found with an other skirt and a headdress of the same material forming a cylinder. There is also Pakal with a mortuary attire made by straps or bands that fastened with big knots support his chest and abdomen. The next is Temple 14. It was built under the rule of Kinich Ken Jyotitam 702-711 AD. In its interior we find a board that shows Kinich Ken Balam II and his mother, who were represented in a state of existence later to their death. Both are located on aquatic bands, may be referring to a water spring where Kinich Ken Bala II took position of that government. The Temple 15. In the interior of the temple of later construction 750-800 AD, three funerary chambers were found. In the central room, fragments of a sarcophagus were found. Probably this belonged to, to a high rank character. Among the materials we could hear, mother of pearl, green stones, and multiple objects worked in bone and shell outstand, as well as ceramic plates and bowls. There is a ball game here. It had a privileged place because it had a profound religious and symbolic meaning. It was a representation of the everyday struggle between contrary forces, antagonist concepts and opposite natural events.
And the last place which I want to show you today is the Temple of the Count. The temple rests on a five-body pyramidal basement. It has a porch with three entrances and an internal corridor divided in a central room and two laterals. Under the porch, stucco floor, three graves with scarce human remains. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. See you later. Bye-bye.